What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, Mel and I, we are fighting jet lag. So we may be getting an hour or two sleep here and there. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of adjusting, I tell you. Trying to have me some coffee. And about to put out some hay right here. Uh, time to get the cows, start trying to get them worked off some of these fields on the different fields so it can grow over the next weeks for hay harvesting. Man, it is such a wet, nasty, muddy mess. My goodness. Well, I'm, uh, I'm happy that about half my hay is still here. geese one in on the show <laughs> yeah i'm happy about half my hay is still right here at this particular hay trap and i seen over at another one already too it's pretty good we had a mild winter any hay left over is a bonus for this upcoming year i'm gonna get on the tractor here and let's go check these cows out i'm happy to be back on this tractor with my tired little self i am see i'm gonna have to diesel it up though let me grab up some hay here and let's head out here and see if these cows come up. I got hay here growing hay. <laughs> the bells are replenishing themselves. Yeah, look at all that ryegrass sprouted on top of that one. down here to check this field I'm gonna put them over in here and let them graze well some pretty good grass too they'll be happy to get in here on this and I want them off that other field so it can start growing so I can cut hay on it man this is looking good right here problem with this property of hay baling it is uh, it's got this bottom here in it and you see that water stand there but that whole area down in there can get like a marsh and uh, can't drive a four wheeler or nothing through parts of it so it's really tough to get really much hay baling out of this unless we had a really dry spring or if it will dry up and firm up in the early part of the summer and you might get a lot late cutting out of it but it's it's a pretty tough one to deal with it's got this one hillside that comes up right here and it stays pretty firm there's not a fence dividing it off so you turn the cows in they're in on the whole thing i'm gonna let them on in here they see me coming this gate they all ran and gathered up right here Woo! come on girls <laughs> Oh man, I see some happy cows. What do I see some happy cows? <laughs> Heck yeah, they about had this grazed out over here. Folks, them cows, they are totally oblivious to the world's events that are going on. Total oblivious. They just can enjoy right here. Just happy grazing, calves playing and bumping heads with each other and jumping through the tall grass. Birds are still chirping. Why do you think I want to get back home to Texas so bad with all happening? 
think I'd have this piece sitting right there on that little lot on the beach with a lot of worried people all around, limited resources. Or do you think I'm better right here? I can just step right back here. I'm away from people. I'm just with, with God. Just with God. Mel and I, we got our animals. Beautiful lush fields. Lots of fertile soil. Good neighbors that are near us here. You know, we're spread out, but we're a good community just in fact my neighbor Bob across the creek over here just got through spending a nice conversation on the phone with him and uh, I'm uh, I'm blessed right here I tell you